All right, without further ado, my brother Rod Hayes, welcome back to the show, my brother. Peace, brother Rich. Peace. Indeed. Good to have you back. Always good to have you on here, my brother. Always have yeah, you. Always man, we ask some, some, some uh, <laughs> journalistic questions, you know, that bring uh, what they call them um, eyewitness news responses. To <laughs> hear the it's like yeah. watching a Watching the car wreck in real time, you want to take your head eyes off the screen, but you can't turn your head. <laughs> mm, wow, good way to put it, my brother. Good way to put it. Listen, man, um, gonna have a good show. Oh, before we start, um, family, a, a quick announcement. Rod Hayes will probably be on the Patreon, um, uh, probably Friday, Friday night. His video will go up. So shout out to all the Patreon subscribers. His video will go up Friday night. I got Phil coming on tomorrow. So if you are a Patreon subscriber, Phil Valentine's, Dr. Phil Valentine's video will go up tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. I got a cooking video next week uh, with a special guest. I won't tell you who, but y'all can stay tuned for that as well. So you got three videos coming up in the next two weeks. And uh, besides that, to get to the show, Rod Hayes, man, this, when, once you delve into the spiritual information and you, you know, and, and you learn all this stuff, you want to figure out why you're here. And for the most of us, we want to figure out how not to come back here. So I, I want to ask you, Rod, I'm wondering, when, when it comes to reincarnation and not coming back here, I've seen black people get tricked out of so many blessings in this realm from white folks, other folks, other black folks. They'd be like, nah, that shit is whack. Don't mess with that. Next thing you know, they got it. They'd be like, oh, you're here. You got law, oh, man. Your hair's ugly. Damn, you're here ugly. Next thing you know, they worshiping a black Madonna with that hair. Like, we get tricked a lot out of things that they'll tell us, oh, man, nah, that shit is whack. And then we leave it alone. The next thing we know, other people got it. I want to ask you that in terms of spirituality. Do you think the spiritual community is attempting to trick us and saying this, Earth, nigga, Earth is trash. Nigga, you want to come back to Earth? Is Are we being tricked into thinking Earth is a prison when really it was meant to be heaven on Earth? Uh, but we just don't know what we're doing, right? Let's talk about reincarnation and what, what it truly is, my brother. So Earth... You see us human beings walking around on earth, but the gods inhabit physical bodies to have a human experience on earth. Mm -hmm. Earth is what you call a cosmic university. This mm -hmm. chapter that we going through is called misery. All our pain and suffering has a side effect in the energy system. It's like a video game. The longer we, the more of the misery we can take, the more of the pre karma we build up. Mm -hmm. So the strongest out of strong are the ones who was at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But sooner or later, they got to rise back up to the top. Right. Right. Because the strongest have to be at the bottom to hold it up until it's about to be changed over. Mm -hmm. Being the strong got to take the lead, <clears throat> right? It's like a um, a system. Mm -hmm. This is what the um, secret societies do their rituals to harness the energy of the system. Mm -hmm. By having you contribute your psychic energy to the egregores they create, you give them permission to control you. These egregores is expressed to us in the 3D world as contracts. Mm -hmm. Figments of the imagination. How the fuck a piece of paper gonna tell you who you is? Right? So the egregore though, that the birth certificate validates that this is you. But what if you got switched at birth? You still gonna have the same birth certificate. Right? Mm -hmm. But you're somebody else with that birth certificate mm -hmm. and that name. So you got switched at birth. So your DNA ain't going to match. <clears throat> All this shit is about blood and it's about rights. <clears throat> and the system is played according to the ones who rise up in the families with the blood and the right to exercise their jurisdiction. 
right? It's a self-realization process. By learning who you are without nobody having to tell you, without no DNA test, just from the perception of what you've been taught through your family lineage. And then you use that as the first frame of reference to see the world. My mama made it clear to me from a little bitty boy that we wasn't from Africa. Right? She told me about our birthrights. <clears throat> I don't need nobody to tell me that. My mama educated me on our tribal rights. So when we come into this reality, it's rules to the game. But don't nobody tell you the rules. You got to learn them by trial and by error. Mm -hmm. Because the pain and the suffering of the struggle builds the character to be able to endure to, to the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So all these is manipulations of energy. Mm -hmm. And this ties into the reincarnation cycles. And um, most people having the time of their life experiencing misery on earth because mm -hmm. they might come from a planet that never had anything like it <clears throat> misery is unique to the human emotional spectrum mm -hmm. in the animals of the earth mm -hmm. other species don't have emotions mm -hmm. <laughs> are we so, the only species with emotion rod are we the only in the universe are we the only one species with emotions um, no, but a lot of them don't have them. A lot of them are pathologically sociopathic by nature. Uh -huh. oh, you have to be able to think, that, walk them through it, linear logic. Right? They don't have that emotional energy. That's a side effect of mitochondria, by the way. Emotion is a side effect of mitochondria. Yeah. Okay. Because mm. it's the feminine transfer of energy in high volume into the DNA. Mm. All of the energy that powers the DNA comes through the mitochondrial in the cell. The mitochondrial is the powerhouse of the cell. So the right brain processes the second heart or the second brain as the heart. So you think with your heart and you think with your brain. Mm -hmm. You gotta match them, intelligence and affection. Mm -hmm. Right? That's how you produce wisdom. Mm -hmm. Right? So you get these two energies to flow at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's what they call balancing your chi. Mm -hmm. Right? By balancing your chi, you cause all four chambers of the brain <clears throat> to beat in harmony, activating both left and right hemispheres simultaneously on the same beat. Mm -hmm. This creates a stronger and more powerful vacuum to pull the gold elixir from the coccyx tail region all the way up the spine in order to illuminate the mind. They mm -hmm. call it the christening process. Right. <clears throat> right. And this is where you receive your Christ consciousness. It's all part of the game of life. Mm -hmm. We go through cycles. We didn't been through so many cycles. It's starting to get hard to come up with new ways to entertain the guys as a human. Mm. Mm. Hey, Rod, we talked about... Um, you know, these entities that existed before, um, you know, Tahuti, you saying you was an incarnation of Tahuti at one time. We talked about um, Enlil. We talked about all these entities. Mm -hmm. um, the entity known as Jesus, probably the most popular entity. Jesus is ISIS. Okay, so Jesus is ISIS. Now, if Jesus is ISIS, hmm, that's interesting. If Jesus is Isis, it's Isis in Greek. Uh huh. And they just translated as Jesus into the English language, but the J only five hundred years old. 
How long ago was Jesus supposed to have been here? Well, we hear we hear so many stories of Tahuti and the different names, like Tahuti, Hermes, mm -hmm. uh, T, uh, the what's the American name, the Tio. Tio, uh, you talking yeah. about Quetzalcoatl? Right. So, what about Isis? Isis, Jesus, what's the Isis is the Great Mother, the Queen of Heaven and Earth. She's known in Sumeria as Inanna. Inanna. Or Ninma. Like like Il Nana? Remember Foxy Brown Il Nana? <laughs> yeah. So the the uh the the great mother that came with Inky. Yeah. She had a pact with the prime creator to produce a protector for the earth. Uh -huh. And this is how the women decided to create men. Mm -hmm. As protectors of the earth. Yeah. Protectors of the women. And the women were supposed to be the caretakers of the earth. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to assist them and protect them while they go out and grow the herbs that heals the babies. Right? They supposed to be able, we, like we fight lions or gorillas or bears or moose. Yeah. to protect the women because the women going to raise our next generation. This is the, to secure your future. So when you get done living this life, you creating the terms of agreement for the next life you incarnate in. You look at it like a radio station. Your DNA codons align to a frequency. The codons of the DNA is, is uh is alkaline crystal. Mm -hmm. And crystals relay information. <clears throat> the information attunes the DNA to set the frequency in which it produces the individual by building it up cell by cell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So once you get into the form of an adult human, you should be able to communicate with every cell in your body but they mm -hmm. take the knowledge from you mm -hmm. to confuse you so that you can make an error in this life that you have to pay for in the next one. Mm. Mm. These so, are the, the basic laws of uh, energy conservation. Mm -hmm. Entropy. They, can, they know how to harness the decay of the entropy on the dark side at a negative energy in order to generate positive progressive energy. Right, right. Right. So taking dark forces, using them to produce things to assist the light. Mm -hmm. In other words, buying light bulbs so the house ain't dark. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Right. So it requires the entropy, the breakdown in the energy in order for the energy to alter form. Mm -hmm. When the energy begin to move, it produces friction, which generates light. Mm -hmm. And from the darkness come the light. That's all e Egyptian science. Mm -hmm. Right? And the Egyptian science come from over here. The mm -hmm. temple priests was all priests of the order of Tahuti. We went to teach all the people of the world mm -hmm. by setting up universities of all types all around the world according to the culture of the people in the local area. Mm -hmm. The goal was is not you're not supposed to upset the culture of the people of the land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they did exactly the opposite to us. But our mm -hmm. culture persisted and it bubbled up in the blues, R and B altered the music, right? And then you get into hip hop. Mm -hmm. And hip hop become the most powerful aspect of our culture. And it also become the most powerful vehicle to transfer information from tribes, chief to tribe, chief, without them ever seeing each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put it in a song. Indeed. Uh, Rod, in terms of, you know, earlier you talked about women creating men to protect them uh in terms of reincarnating in this realm many people have asked can you reincarnate into different races what i want to know is 
can you reincarnate into different genders? Like you talked about you being Tahuti. Have you ever been a woman in a past life? Can we talk about some of your past lives? Like, have you been a woman in the past? Life? I always come back as the protector. Always come back as a protector. Is it possible yeah. to go as from a woman, one life? Yeah. Okay. Some of some of the, that's some of the contracts that people choose before they incarnate. Mm -hmm. They might choose a seven life path. That mean they make an agreement they want to live seven distinct different types of lives before they finish their university degree. Interesting. Very interesting. Wow. So in each incarnation, which is just another semester of university on earth, but they be lived all of the seven lives that they put into as they wanted their curriculum to be. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. You. And you can end it at any time just by waking up to who you are. You can take, you can get out the out the matrix. Mm -hmm. Would you say every death is an assisted suicide because essentially it's mind over matter, and whenever a person dies, they essentially want to die? Would you call it a assisted suicide? Every death? No, not necessarily. It could be a um, it could be in their soul contract. It could be in their soul contract. Your, your soul contract is your curriculum for the semester. Ooh, <laughs> what's your your semester is your lifetime? Yeah. Okay. This is and this. when you 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 get multiple semesters, that's why I say you might have a seven life degree. Yeah. Where you got to get seven life experiences of seven different kinds in order to graduate from University of Earth and get your degree. Rod, how many times would you say you've been down here, my brother? yourself you know a lot how, how many times has rod been in this realm i lost count give me a but sometimes over. i don't never come to full consciousness as to who i am okay oh okay like now i, I like I, now it was it was required uh -huh. to break the conjure that had us discussing which side of the water we come from. Mm. This was a this was a voodoo conjure. It was ritualistically done in Masonic lodges. Mm -hmm. The overt uh paper genocide was the paper trail for us to trace back what they did to switch us out and put us off in the um trail of tears and switch us out with the Dawes Row Indians, the five dollar Indians. Mm -hmm. The ones they brought over as servants. Mm -hmm. We ain't never supposed to be able to read the history books and know who their mortal enemies was until the French Revolution and the Spanish Inquisition and the expulsion of the Moors from Spain. So we supposed to be so convinced that we Moors that we don't know what side of the water we from. Mm -hmm. I'm Mississippi clay dirt. Mm -hmm. I know I'm from over here. I have I have multiple lives of going through the bayou in Louisiana to my big mama to be blessed again to come back in a lifetime. Mm. And then this time I end up having to go see her in the inner city. I automatically knew from birth something is wrong. I didn't know what it was yet though. Mm -hmm. So over the years, we learned to read the language that the other elders put into the community. Mm -hmm. Then they sent us from community to community, learning the local languages of the local clans. We call it the local slang or the local lingo. Mm -hmm. Everybody got their little way they use tribal tongue to flip code. Mm -hmm. And you have to be exposed to a certain amount of tribes in order to read what's called the Grand Tribe Design. Mm -hmm. The Grand Tribe Design tells the other chiefs to organize, organize, and then organize. It's time to reclaim the land. Mm -hmm. They can't stop what's coming. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And this is all part of the the big graduation ceremony, mm -hmm. the, the final hurrah 
What's before the big graduation? The big the graduation big said all of the seniors getting out. Who's the seniors? What do you mean? Uh, you got? <laughs> the different masters. They'd be seen. Right? They all graduate to their elder seats. I remember you told me there's a lot of masters down here right now. You told me that, right? Yeah. yeah. They come from all different eras in time to incarnate at the end to get their graduation caps. Right, right. Mm. Wow. Let me ask you this, Rod. So we got something that we call down here. People say, oh, you are old. So a lot of people have told me I'm old. So or sometimes if a person act a certain way, they'll say, oh, they're a young soul. Now, if we all come from this primordial soup, a.k.a. Big Mama, a.k.a. God, or whatever term we want to use, we all emanate from that. And some of us are old souls. We've been down here a while. What the hell were the young souls doing? What, 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 since they weren't okay, down first here? Of all, like, first of all, you have to attach your ego to the soul. You have to give it an identity. Mm. Doing this <clears throat> by creating an identity, the personality type is aligned to a frequency, just like a radio station. Yeah. Every time you come back, you could be born in a different family, but your radio station on the same frequency in the DNA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it can only broadcast you through. You the only one can fit through your template. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then sometime through the merger. In the flipping the new DNA, these helixes off the RNA DNA exchange, a new strain comes up. Right? That's a new piece of information to be shared. And then the change can also be seen in the species. Mm -hmm. <coughs> But what I want to know, Rod, is if the soul is young and they weren't down here, where were they lingering? Were they on other planets? Were they still in that oneness? It's like where this. When the, when the desktop computer first came out, what happened mm -hmm. when the laptop came out? The, the, the desktop had to evolve and get smaller in order right. to compete with the laptop. Right, right. Okay. The laptop was portable, can go anywhere. It's still a computer. It's just mm. a different personality type. Mm. Right? But the dull desktop had to adapt in order to not be left behind by the laptop. Right. That's the, <clears throat> the level of upgrades. Species go through the same levels of upgrades. Mm -hmm. The codes from different positions and seasons of the sun and it's a communication with the earth tells the earth what to tell us to morph into next what they call mm -hmm. evolution of species it's a communication it's mm -hmm. a code mm -hmm. and the dna this is what's so important about cracking dna codes and study of epigenetics and the sequence of the two because then you get to realize that you project it from somewhere else into this body. Right. You identify the body with the name. Right. But the body ain't the name. The name is just the way that you express to get your attention. Mm -hmm. This is the mental, what they call lock and trigger. Mm -hmm. So after you become programmed with your name, you take on the identity you begin to build an ego. Everything that somebody say about you that you accept is true becomes part of your ego. And that's your false self. Because you never tested any of that information, you just accepted it. But when you start to know yourself, all of those things start to fade away. They call that the purification of the ego. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the whole esoteric philosophy behind the occult and the mystic uh, schools of thought being expressed through religion and redundant application. Religion is just a redundant application to something over and over. Yeah. Right? But religion comes from the root to bind down. Mm -hmm. So they perform the function 
But if you don't never figure out what the function is, you, you'll be seduced by it and become a slave to it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But as soon as you find out the function, you can unlock the um, the hold it has on the psyche in order to be a liberated mind. Uh-huh. 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 Right? That's why you challenge your own paradigms among yourself. Uh-huh. So that you can make sure that you agree with everything you believe. Because uh-huh. you might not agree if you examine it. <clears throat> so, Rod, you, you talk, you made the analogy about degrees, university degrees, you know, us graduating from Earth getting university degrees. Uh, let's say, let's use the degrees as an analogy. We got associates, we got bachelors, we got masters. If we get these people who get these university degrees, where do they where do they go in the afterlife? Where do the people who got the associate degree go in the afterlife? Where do the people who got the bachelor's and where do the masters? Where do the people? Where does Rod Hayes go? Where does Rod Hayes go when he graduate with his master's degree? Where's your soul going, my brother? Let's use these as examples. Where are they going? I'm the dean of the university, so I'll always be here. Mm. Right, I gotta come to the end to close out each cycle by making the ones practice major cantors close them out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So I'm going to always be here. Right. My consciousness was created to be compatible with the species that evolved to the planet in which mm-hmm. I would always take the highest form of human. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, because I'm gonna always have to come in and do some heavy lifting. Right. That's why it becomes a masculine expression of wisdom. And wisdom is justified to her children. And wisdom is Sophia. And Sophia is married to Tahuti. And when the two become one, it wakes the queen mother, the queen of heaven and earth, Isis. Mm -hmm. And that's how you put the great mother back on her seat by the mingling the wisdom with the knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's the fusion of the psyche. Mm -hmm. Right. To be in balance. It's the same with nature. Nature always seeking balance. That's why water is always on the go. Seeking balance. But Rod, let me ask you this. If you the incarnation of Tahuti and Tahuti messes with Sophia and together they able to shake shit up, are you spending your life looking for Sophia like Neo was looking for Trinity? Is you and Sophia going to be the equivalent of Neo and Trinity and shake the Matrix the fuck up, Rod? Where, okay. where is your Sophia, my brother? I don't got to look for nobody. I know where they all at. Mm. No, but I'm saying a particular, like you're Tahuti. So are you looking for Sophia? Like Neo was looking for um Trinity. That's what I'm saying. I, I did when I when I wasn't. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was looking for him when I wasn't. Mm-hmm. See, this is what all of the codes is telling us. The Queen Mother picks the wife for the king to be. Right. He can't be king to be until he find the one that the queen mother picked without the queen mother ever telling him. Ooh, pick it. Okay. Without being told who to, who to pick. <laughs> now, she don't know the queen mother picked her and he don't know the queen mother picked her. Yeah. The only way she, he can find her is if he followed the way of wisdom and she followed the way of righteousness. Right. Right. So naturally, the wise thing to do is to seek peace. And the righteous woman is a peacemaker. Uh Right. Because she wants comfort in her home. Right. But then they're going to send you out to clean some shit up when the time comes. So you're going to figure it out later on when it looks like it's too late. Mm-hmm. But it's going to come with an assignment. Mm. And that's how the pretender to the throne gathers the support to seize the kingdom and restore the land mm-hmm. by following the steps of pretender to the throne 
going about pointing to all of the ones doing the work. I ain't doing this looking for nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this to show everybody where everything Mm -hmm. Mm gets. Right? When they understand what's been taking place, it was some voodoo shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they told us voodoo was evil and to stay away from it so we could never figure out that they was using voodoo on us. That's that trick I talked about in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Stay away from that, then they using the shit. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Even our music. They knew we used to trade messages in the music. That's why they used to call our music race music. Right. The blues. All of them's codes. Rock and roll was birthed by Little Richard, Chief Screaming Hawk. All that shit codes. Mm Mm-hmm. Tears of a Clown, Smokey Robinson, High Chief, High Yoka, mm. from the land. He not no African, he'll tell you. Mm. But he proud to be black. Understand, we at war. Mm. The war is the war of the man to the people. The people have to determine who they are. The self-realization is the, also the activation of the new system. Mm-hmm. With us being back on top. Mm-hmm. The ones who don't understand the message is telling you who they are because mm-hmm. they can't digest the message, so they have to attack the messenger. Mm-hmm. It's over their pay grade. Mm-hmm. Right? So we have different cross sections of the community. The ones who know what's going on, they know what I'm talking about. But the ones that's part of what we call the conscious community, Mm -hmm. them the niggas that's in the way. Mm. They more in the way than them church folks. And the church folks been in our way a long time. Mm -hmm. Now it's these so-called conscious folks. Part of their so-called woke culture. Mm-hmm. And, and I don't got nothing to do with none of that shit. Mm-hmm. My only thing is I'm informing the people that I came to exercise my blood right mm-hmm. to reclaim and redeem this land and raise the matriarchy and put the chiefs back on power on the land. It's already being done under continuity of government, but they don't want to read the document because mm-hmm. that required them to do something to verify something. Right, right. Okay. They gave us everything back. It's in the Indigenous Rights Act, but they don't know how to read the documents. Mm -hmm. We just got to know how to restore the original government. We have to revert back to a time before the advent of what we call the United States constitutional government. We have to go back to the Confederate tribes oral constitutions and issue the oral edicts of the chiefs. We can't use their system to overthrow their system because by doing that, you supporting their system. You have to divorce yourself from their system, use the original system of the tribes that all tribes understand and put it in the public domain. Mm-hmm. Right. So we we tell the stories and go over the history. I done read thousands of books, man. I don't have time to every other word give you the book. Mm-hmm. Right. And then especially when I'm not doing a, a, a class where I'm pulling the receipts. But at the same time, it don't matter what anybody think. You know. I don't have no beef with nobody from that. I don't got no beef with nobody. All I'm just saying is when we doing what we doing to recover our birthright, go to Africa and get your African birthright, you African-American. And then you will have a leg to stand on to put some weight on somebody for reparations. If you don't have a leg to stand on, You need your own country with a lobbying body of Congress of their own to lobby for you to get reparations. Japan lobbied for the Japanese in World War II. They got it. 
but ain't no African country saying you from there. <clears throat> Lobbying for you to get reparations, giving you dual citizenship because they know you've tied to the land over there. I've been talking to Pan-Africanists studying Garveyism for years. They all over there say the same thing I'm saying. We from over here. It is some African in us. We've been marrying them motherfuckers for thousands of years. But if they tell you they not making it up at 21 and me blood, uh, blood tests, DNA test shit, it says for entertainment purposes. The narrative is to steer us away from the birthright to the land over here. The narrative has to disassociate us from the land called America. But we was already here before Columbus came. Right? So we have to go back to our system from before Columbus came in order to overthrow their system with our system. All of these wise legal counsels can't understand that the grandfather clause is in full effect when we go from Admiralty Maritime back to the law of the land and the totem pole. We had totem poles. We don't follow the law of the flag. That's Admiralty jurisdiction. The law of the flag ain't supposed to apply on land unless it's in the embassy. <clears throat> Rod, let me ask you, how long has this earth plane, this school plane been in existence? Like, I'm just trying time to... Time is an illusion. To give you a time is, is reinforcing an illusion. It's there, been here ever since now. It's been here right now. Are there other earth schools in the universe? Or is this like the premier school? You know how they got Harvard, they got Yale, and these are the schools you go to where you get, you, you learn some shit. Is that Earth like? Are we like the Harvard of the universe? Are we the Yale? Are we the Stanford, Columbia? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Or are we like what kind of school? Yeah, this this was the school like that most this was the school that most species wanted to come to. This is all holographic projections in 3D. Mm -hmm. And our consciousness is in the video game, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, and we getting the information. Somebody's playing with the joystick, manipulating the DNA in order to get the message when the mitochondria send the signal. Uh -huh. Right, it's computer animated, digitally enhanced. Right, this is why you have um, ancient technology returning, like the healing chamber in the med bed. People talking about that's the newest technology. No, that shit ancient. Right, right, right. It's part of the part called the hereafter in the story of the redemption of the earth in the holy drama of the Osirian resurrection. They tell you it's the Christ story in the Bible, but it's the Osirian resurrection. That's why everybody got it slightly off. They looking at it from the reflection of an original story's reflection. And then they don't even know the actual people that existed that they telling the innuendo story about without using the name of the person. The ISIS of the day was Cleopatra and they haven't found her tomb. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's the synchronicities with the story. The story of the crisis was written in a 21 part play by Josephus Flavius. It was to be 21 different people looking at the story of this Christ character from 21 different angles, and they all had a gospel. A gospel was the good news, a good story. They all had a good story from their angle. But as soon as you get caught in one angle, you can't see the rest of the story. And it's an entertainment purposes. It's psychologically alluring. It's a hypnotic play being played out in order to seduce your mind and to believe in a paradigm that they can control. Uh -huh. And that's how you enslave the mind at the most basic core portion of understanding. Uh -huh. You know, I, I want to use music as an example, Rod. Um, sometimes the older artists 
they've been making good music for so long that they need a new muse. So what they do is they get with a younger artist and the younger artist gives them a muse and they create magnificent music. Now, if we if life is music and we're old souls and we've been creating music in this realm for a long time, do you think us getting with some of the younger souls, like let's say the Caucasian species is a younger group, when we get with them, do you think we will create great music because they offer a fresher perspective when we've been here for so long, we've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, we tired of this shit. So us um, having a seed with the Caucasian race, do you think that offers or bring forth a soul that's totally different from what the world has ever seen before because of the mixture of our uh, DNA? That was all part of a game called white supremacy. It was a multi-dimensional chess game. White supremacy right. is a multi-dimensional game. It's part of a multi-dimensional chess game. Uh, uh. White supremacy's foundation is called Protocols of Zion. Wow. Right? And the uh, the script is written as morals and dogma. And it's telling you basically how you follow the dogma and the ones follow the morals is the only ones going to see the story. Mm -hmm. Right? And then the story going to be being told, played out. Ain't it some America came in with George and left with George? Mm -hmm. Right? Because even when Obama was president, as long as the old man was living, he was King George, the first of the United States of America, passed by Senate subcommittee in 1991 mm -hmm. in the wee hours of the morning. Mm -hmm. Right? William Cooper outed his ass. Right. Right? And it was part of a security agreement. The security agreement was to get the Illuminati or the deep state control of the government. George Bush would be the king of that government. And from then on, he was the one who controlled the next several presidents until they got to Donald J. And then his plan was derailed. All this is still playing out the, the, the story repeatedly over and over again. Mm -hmm. And then now they run in what they call the Kabuki Theater, right? Which was common in ancient Japanese culture. We didn't marry the East meet West, the uniting of Africa and Asia, mm -hmm. right? It's the uniting of the understanding of the, the mythologies, because the mythologies is just repeating the same holy drama. Right, right. Right, and the holy drama traces back to the Assyrian resurrection, and that the masters of the land know that when the crisis come, who to call, and they call on different one of the elders, what they call the family tree or the great pharaoh's family tree. If you look at the gods, right, and then you see um, Isis, Osiris, um, Horus, Anubis, Sekhmet, Hetheru. Right. When you're going through them, they all got a different or different function. Those are parts of the family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody at each function have to teach one of the children in the family how to perform each one of the functions of each person in the family. So that he, when he get to the top, now he know how to set the family structure back up. Mm -hmm. The nuclear family, mm -hmm. the head of the family. Right, the great family of Tahuti, the uniting of the tribes of the earth. Right, they tell you the story in the Avatar. They tell you the story in the Matrix. It's the same story from a different angle. And all of those stories create what they call the great work. Everybody got to keep the story out in the forefront until we figure it out. So we figured it out. Hey, Rod, is it possible to incarnate in this realm uh, your soul? Like, is your soul simultaneously down here using different bodies? Or does each soul incarnate one body at a time? How does that work, Rod? It depends on how your, uh, your DNA structure is set up. Mm -hmm. But you got, in order to be multiple personalities, 
but the same higher self, you have to have the same DNA. It's normally seven at a time, but those are normally masters. Mm. Mm. And then you have what they call lookalikes. But doppelgangers, that? Yeah, but they look alike. Like, uh, you might go to Japan and see a Japanese dude with your face, <laughs> but he's just lighter. Mm-hmm. Right? Then you might go to Africa and see another dude with your face, except he burnt brown. Yeah. Right? And then you you be sitting there like, man, why did a, a dude in Japan got my and dude over here in Africa? And I'm, you know, you're looking at the f- facial cranial structure. Yeah, and the energy that comes in is the DNA tells it how to form. Mm-hmm. Y'all are tuned to the same physiological frequency in order to produce the outline of the form, mm-hmm. and this is also another expression of the self. Mm-hmm. Right? When you have multiple mental selves, that's because you tuned in in your VHF frequency to the same radio frequency as somebody else. When you become a master of your frequency, now you can use it to talk to anybody else on your frequency. Uh Uh Tune in the radio knob. Right, right, right. Yeah, you learn to control it. When you have multiple voices, your radio stations overlap. You got to tell the other radio station, hey, turn off until you get down to the station you want to hear. Mm. Right? That's how you call practicing the control of the mind to keep the mind, the monkey mind, the psycho mile from driving you into the nut house. Mm. But then some of us is conscious of how to do it, but we too lazy to do it and mad because we get the results of not doing it. Mm. Mm. We want somebody else to do it for us. Is there anything you think a soul looks for when, like, say when a soul's ready to incarnate down here and they're looking at a man and a woman and they know they, they're they about to get busy and have sex, is there any personality traits that this soul looks for? Because sometimes the people we call masses, they come from the people we least expected. They may come from a crackhead. They may come from a junkie. They may come from just a, a regular Joe. They don't come from sometimes, two, you would think two conscious people produce masses, but it don't work like that all the time. So is there anything that these souls are looking for when they want to come down here, these advanced souls? Yeah, open channels. Elaborate on Path, that. Path of least resistance. Path of least resistance. Right, so, an open channel. So when you let your frequency go to a certain level, it makes the higher beings have a lesser of a struggle um, becoming one with the individual. And they can bring them up to a higher level faster. Hmm. So being conscious could offer resistance sometime, you think, to these souls? Yeah, because a lot of the consciousness is rooted in the ego being strong. Woo! That's a breakthrough. You don't people don't even realize that because yeah. the consciousness is rooted in the ego being stronger. So we prevent the higher advanced souls. That's a breakthrough, brother. I got to put that on TikTok or some shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, brother. That that's a breakthrough. Like right, well, the, ego, the, yeah. the, the struggle with you is between your higher self and your ego self. Your higher self is the one determined to drive you to do your destined purpose and is going to manipulate the hell out of your ego until they get it done. Your ego going to fight back and try to do everything my way that doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. Not that it's just doing it your way. It doesn't make sense. So it's defying logic why you're doing it your way that makes your higher self rebel right. and force you to go down a path that's going to force you to straighten up. Mm. Wow. And you're doing it to yourself the whole time, trying to not be who you are, trying to be who the world told you to be. Mm-hmm. You got to be who you are. The, mm-hmm. you, you, it, the more you want to be what the world want to be, that's the greater your ego develop. Mm-hmm. Because your ego is the sum total of all of the things people told you about yourself that you believe and you use that as a protective defense against the inner child. And the inner child only wants the higher self to parent it and guide it through the world. Right? But the ego 
take over, smother the inner child, and now he's at war with the higher self. So you find him sitting in the penitentiary for 75 years. They was too real for the streets. That's that's what we're talking about. That energy exchange with the self drives you to put yourself in the circumstance. Your higher self gonna put you wherever you gotta be in order for you to fulfill your life purpose. Yeah, sometimes your life purpose is just to deliver one message to one individual that's in a far distant place from where you currently sit. So it would be one person listening to Brother Rich that got the message they needed to get that changed their life forever. And now you did your whole life mission. Now you can go and about your business mm-hmm. and create whatever life you want to after that. So we think when we do our life purpose that it takes our whole life. Sometimes we just take a, a, cla- a, a class encounter. Right. You know, because Yo, right. we right. help other people to help us. Right. I remember one time, bro, when I was in my 20s, there was this dude I, you know, I, I was a street vendor in NYC and I, I was selling like DVDs and stuff like that. And this dude came up to me and he started telling me about fasting and the brother inspired me to go on the biggest fast I ever went on. It, it, I, I remember it to this day. It changed my life forever. Uh, made me stop eating a lot of things I was eating. And I never seen a brother again. Seen him one time in my life, one time. He inspired me to do the biggest fast I ever did. Did I just never see the brother again? So, so in encounters like that, what what would you describe that as? Where you do you know you look you want to look for the motherfucker to thank him like yo thank you, but I I never found the brother again. It just what would you look, describe? in your book of life? You might have asked for a pass right there, flea flicker. A, a what? Come on, brother. You got cool. What did you just say, man? You ask for what? A pass. You a said flea, a flea flicker. What's that? Yeah. I- a football flea flicker is the uh, razzle dazzle play on the football field. Oh, okay. Right, and you might have wrote in your book of life if I happen to end up right here. That's where I want to put my inspiration right. spot at. So it's like you stored it there in your life path, and if you get there, you get that inspiration. That's the that was the reward. He was just there as the shopkeeper holding the reward until you came and got it. Oh, man, bro. It, and he might not, he there, but he not there no more. Yeah. yeah. You see? They, they and your paradigm them. changed because of that encounter. That's, just, that's how you pick up, you read the signs in your life like that. Mm-hmm. And the more you understand your path that you took, the more you understand the destiny you're supposed to take. Mm-hmm. Right? And because it, it's going to be training you for the next wave of events. Mm-hmm. And your greatest task going to come when you can look back on it all and know exactly why you did it. Mm-hmm. Good, bad, or indifferent. You ain't supposed to be squeaky clean, but you're going to pay for your dirt before you get out of here. Mm-hmm. That's part of the game. Mm-hmm. Right, so the dirt had to be enough to draw the misery on the person. Mm-hmm. That they did they dirt, they enjoyed it when it happened, laugh now, cry later. But some of us wasn't about that laugh now. We was about that figure it out. Straight face. <clears throat> and then later, we can laugh about it because we're going to figure it out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know what I always hear about Rod? I always hear about the um the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Uh they be like, yo, he on the mother well. He ain't passed away. He's on he's on the mothership or what's that called? The mothership or the wig, the wheel. The mother, the mother the mother What's up with, with souls like Elijah? We, we, you know, I ask you about people with masses. Where's Elijah chilling right now? Where people like Elijah? Yeah. Elijah got a pamphlet. It's hard to find, but it's called Radiohead. Radiohead. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's about the master's ability to be on the other side. And if a person match enough of their frequency, they can talk to you through that person. Mm. 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 
And they always have to give you a clue that it's them and not that person, but you got to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So the radio head is the one who can master the frequency so they can tune in to who they need to get the message through. It's almost like uh, um, the agents in um, the Matrix. Matrix, yeah. 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 You could just take on that that person in order to get the message where it need to go. Where can I get this pam this pamphlet that radio had? Do they do, is it available? It was uh once produced by the Coalition for the Remembrance of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad called Crow. Wow. They put a lot of his lectures into book format. Okay. And um a lot of his stuff is laced with esoteric knowledge. Yeah. So people thinking he's talking about one thing, but he's talking about something entirely different altogether. Uh, uh -huh. Right. The reason his Islam is not the same as Orthodox Sunni Islam is our culture require us to take whatever religion or whatever spiritual practice from around the world. But we have to change it and make it our own. Uh -huh. And by making it our own. We'll put fragments of our culture in it, where when the time comes, the chiefs will know where everybody at. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And that's how I can trace back all of the students of Elijah Muhammad, and then I can trace the students of Marcus Garvey, and I can trace the students of Noble Drew Ali, because they all use the same methods of tribal communication of the masters to put mm -hmm. the information in the public domain. We all looked at it, but all of us didn't know what it meant the same. Right, right, right. So different pay grades. Everybody ain't supposed to know the same thing. That's what we call code talking. Mm -hmm. So we could pass information that's covert, overtly, in the obvious uh, format. Just remember, if you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in the book. The book, yeah. Yeah, so that's why I read all them books. Because I wanted to see what they was hiding. You know, I remember in the early 2000s, Rod, um, growing up in this consciousness and just watching mad Bobby Hammond videos. Uh, he was real popular in the early 2000s. I would hear him always talk about how he communicates with individuals in the afterlife. It may be James Brown. It may be Tupac. It may be this one, that one. Um, how do you get that? Is is that something? Have you done that before? Communicate with people in the afterlife, and how do you tap into that? How do you tap into their frequency? It's telepathy. Just because you don't have a physical body, don't mean you still can't talk with telepathy, mm -hmm. right? And some of them come in dream format. They come as dream walkers. Mm -hmm. So you know you're not asleep. You like in a meditative trance and then the reality will shift, mm -hmm. but you know, you're not asleep. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be wondering, where is this place? That's called the sacred halls, the sacred halls, right? The halls of a minty, a minty mean the unknown place or this concealed place It's concealed in the psyche as a university to educate you on the reality that you exist in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to train you up from a beginner soul to a master soul so that you can become the greatest self you can be. Like you doing your life purpose right now. Mm -hmm. It's obvious, mm -hmm. right? Because you excel at it mm -hmm. without being on NBC, Fox, CBS. People want to come see what Brother Rich talking about, mm -hmm. right? And you come as with journalistic integrity and you don't take sides in nobody's conflict among your uh, your guests. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you got some guests that I would love to meet. And then you got some I bet not be in the same room with them. <laughs> <laughs> but that's called journalistic integrity. <laughs> right. Oh man, you funny like a mother. <laughs> he said I better not be in the same room with 
man. Right, but that's journalistic integrity because you're not taking. You ain't supposed to take sides with the people purveying the information. Yeah. Right. You're just supposed to get the information out, and that's what you do. Mm-hmm. Right. So, like different people, you would say, um, I make that happen. Other people, you say, yeah, I ain't gonna need Maxim about that. I already know where that's gonna go. Mm-hmm. Right? And you don't mix those lines, you don't get involved in that, because that ain't really none of your personal business. You just trying to get information out to the people. Right, right. Right, so I don't, like, I don't feel no type of way. Because mm-hmm. everybody got a right to think, feel, believe, Whatever they want. Mm. That's part of being a sovereign being. Mm. Anybody tell you you don't have a right to think, feel, um, and believe whatever you want, they trying to control you. They trying to control you with false information because if you got to think about it, if you a guy, right, because you hear all these, all these clowns running to my I'm a guy. Mm-hmm. Right. If you a guy, the first thing you understand is all of this without is the same as within. Mm-hmm. If I hate any part of that which is out, it's something on the inside I hate. Mm-hmm. The harder I hate that thing without, the more it shows up as a psychological anomaly in the physical form. This is how you get cancer. Mm-hmm. Psychosomatic illness. Right, because you focused all of that hatred so ha- strong that you drew it made it resonate within the self, mm-hmm. and it caused the cells to mutate because they don't supposed to push that negative energy through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, then you got pieces of the DNA flying off with no way of chelating the blood to get it out because you following the diet that the enemy gave you and told you it was your own diet. Mm-hmm. Right. When we start making hot dogs, who did that? Mm. Right. Who started making hamburger? Right. Ground beef. Where that come from? Mm-hmm. Right. But then where these cows come from? Because we had bison. But we got what we call selective amnesia about the history of our people because they told us that we came from somewhere else and disassociated us from our people's history. Mm. All the time, they was never stopped bombing our villages, and they calling them the great fire of this city or that city. They was burning us out. Burning us out, right. All of they so-called bank robbing outlaws was robbing Big Mama's banks. Every town had a Big Mama bank. You got to go back and look and study colonial history because it tell you in the history books that at one time it was a different currency for each bank. Right. And uh, each bank's currency was an, a recognizable IOU to the fellow banks in the Confederacy. But we don't remember that shit because we think that we know history because we sat in on some Kumbaya Black History Month shit. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't got no problem with black history. I got a problem with erased history. Mm. Misplaced history. Rerouted history. You saw Red- it. redirected history. That's <laughs> where my problem at. Because we see this is a Masonic practice of shifting the story slightly out of context. So it say what it say, but it don't mean what it say. Right. Right. This is what we was talking about when we looking at all of these different edicts that the Catholic Church is given to slaughter us over here. Right. But then we want to be taking on false identities that disassociate us from the land so that we can get the invaders the right to seize the land. They can't have it. Mm-hmm. Right. They already lied about all these treaties because we don't believe in selling the land. You can't sell your mama. You know, <laughs> damn. Oof. You know, Rod. You, so you talk about the land a lot, and that's part of your your your, your soul contract. Uh, you know, is to break that conjure, like you said. You know, mm-hmm. I hear so, I hear so much about how they um they flooded a lot of the land. Like, let's say Lake Lanier. We had these towns. They flooded it and built lakes over it. Shit, like like there's so many lakes where underneath the lake 
there it's 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 thousands and thousands of black people you it's, hear about the listen, so many it's black, not just the lakes it's the what See, else, the, the sandbars of the the gulf used to have structures on them Mm -hmm. They bombed the motherfuckers underwater. Whole half of New Orleans is under the under the Gulf. Most of us don't even know that. But I remember it before it was under the Gulf. So Rod, that's deep. Now check this out, Rod. With that being said, and what I said, you talked earlier about species evolution. Us reincarnating in this realm. We got so many civil so many civilizations underwater. Are we do we eventually, because of species evolution, are we gonna start incarnating under the water? Because we like shit. So many of us we are already did that before. Like right right now. Are, are we Look, like incarnate under the water right listen, now? We are we already did that before. Mm, talk to me about that, man. Come on. The, the, there was a species, the hominid, that looked like a human, but it had gills. Yeah. They made a movie called uh, Man from Atlantis based on that species of human. They don't exist no more. Mm -hmm. But the, the the evolutionary tribe, you can trace them. They in um, Africa, or South Africa, they dive underwater for extended periods of time. Right? That's because they mix the tribes from the water with the tribes on the land and the genetics from the tribes on the land eliminated the, breathe, the underwater breathing aspect of open gilled rib cages. Mm -hmm. Right? So it wasn't needed. It became a genetic um, uh, atrophy. It is no longer necessary. The same thing in the in the fish's gills is the brachia, the same thing that's in your lungs to absorb the oxygen from the water. Mm -hmm. Right? A lot of us don't know that there's a um a saline ambient liquid in our lungs as we absorb oxygen. Mm -hmm. And it's a buffer to allow you to absorb the oxygen. So these little things are just clues to the structure of the creation itself. Mm -hmm. When you get enough clues and you look at it from, okay, now why would God do this? But it got to make sense first. Mm -hmm. Then it got to be traceable second. Mm -hmm. And then it got to have a <clears throat> optimum conclusion that comes to a grand finale. And the conclusion should bring all of the negativity back to balance. Mm -hmm. Right? So you go back and you look at where was the anomaly? It was in the history books. Mm -hmm. Where was the plan hatch? Notre Dame University. How do you know this? Because the slave ship is a perfect layover for Notre Dame University. That's where they hatched the plot. What was the plot based off of Plato's Republic, right? It's a democratic society, right? So when we're looking at the Republic, how is it playing? What's the narrative playing out? What chapter of the Republic are we in? This is the part of the Republic where the Republic falls for the greed of the ones that were sitting in the places of power of the Republic. They greed caused it to fall because they defaulted on all of their loans. Mm -hmm. And then they tried to take out loans on the default. Somebody got to come. The bill always comes due. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They bill is due. They time is up. Our time is now. But our people still supporting their old system mm -hmm. instead of going back to our system. Mm -hmm. This is all energy exchange. Mm -hmm. They're talking about waking up from the three dimensional reality of a fixed position mind state being stubborn to the obvious changes that's in front of you. Mm -hmm. That slows down progress. Bunch of bulls got their feet put, stuck in the ground. You can't pull them asses nowhere. Right? Somebody needs some carrots on some sticks. Get them, get them heifers moving. Mm. Rod, man, we about to get out of here, man. I want to thank you once again, man, for the awesome, amazing show. I want to get to a question from the or from the people in the chat before we get out of here. 
Uh, I started a little late tonight, yo, but I'm I'm gonna take give me a give me some questions in the chat. I'm gonna take one question in the chat before we get out of here. Um, that thing what you said while they while somebody comes up with a question, right? That thing you said about the halls of a mentee that was deep, man. That trans like state before sleep because we're taught we 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 always talk about dreams, the dreams, the dreams, but a lot of people don't pay attention to that space, but right before you go to sleep. Do you think right. that's more important than the actual dream itself when you're in that trans state before sleep? Your dreams serve different purposes. Some of them is to rationalize the events of the day. According to your book of life, you're doing what's called a comparative analysis. Mm. The nightmare is the um, upset in the paradigm that shows that you something in the paradigm is inaccurate. Mm. Right. So it's going to come out to stand out in your mind as a nightmare. Mm -hmm. When you find out what the boogeyman is in real life, you run the boogeyman out the dream. Right, right, right. Mm. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. Give me one second, Rod. Let me see what they're talking about. The hell y'all some of y'all be talking about y'all be saying some <laughs> crazy shit <laughs> uh let me see um, i don't see anything i want to ask uh, hmm. so look i had um the first person that came to me in the hall was fire muhammad Oh, in that state. Oh, look, talk to tell you. Talk to me about your experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to hear that. So what's going on? I was in Cook County Jail and I was talking to this brother, Everett X, was a radio head for Elijah. Mm -hmm. I was able to experience that firsthand about Elijah being a radio director. Radio car radio producer, the one who projects the radio signal. Right, right. So it was like being taught directly by Elijah through somebody else. Ooh, now we talking. Come on, right, come on. So I had an issue with the way Far Muhammad looked. Because you be gonna tell me God a black man, he better look like Marcus Garvey. <laughs> he better do the things that Marcus Garvey did. Yeah. So when he was telling me about Far, I'm looking to meet Marcus Garvey. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you bring me a final call with a pitch for Muhammad in there. Man, my chin hit the flow. Mm -hmm. He didn't even black. Mm -hmm. That's what the first thing I thought. So I'm looking at the picture. Mm -hmm. And I hear some say, I know what you are thinking. Right. But I'm trying to examine this picture. I'm like, make this shit make sense to me because this ain't making no sense. Mm -hmm. Right. Because the original man is the original man. I'm, this, this is what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Right. Po niggas, nappy hair and big lips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I see fire, I'm not buying it. So I'm sitting there. I was doing my uh, meditation that I wasn't even thinking about that shit no more. Mm -hmm. And when I went into this trance, I started walking down this tunnel and it was going like in a spiral down. Mm -hmm. And on the side, it looked like somebody had set up a, like a little cutout in the side of the tunnel and put a booth there. Mm -hmm. And as I walked up, it was Fire Muhammad sitting in the chair. Mm -hmm. This was the first cold that I picked up. I'm going to tell you what it mean when I get done telling you what it, what he said. Mm -hmm. He said, come in and sit down. He said, I, he said it's, it doesn't work the way you think it worked. Mm -hmm. But you will figure that out later. Mm -hmm. And I asked him about being wrinkled up and old looking because he posted my age. Mm hmm he said, I could have extended my age, right? This is the code. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> he said, but I start eating three meals a day to hasten my death so that I can return back. Mm. Right. So he was going back to source as an energy. The code was and the, the last thing they would be greedy. And this would be caused the aging and the death of a people. Greed. Mm. The greed is going to come from a place of apathy. The victim position. All of the people in the history of the world that have been in slavery, and they talking about reparations. When they can just do for self now, because we can do for self now. In the past, you can't hold them accountable because the condition was different. So we did all this fighting to get this far to say, well, we ain't going to do nothing else because we want reparations. Reparations is, is a blatant deception to draw the ones that's hereditary to the earth in parts. This is the land of Tahuti. The ones who are the first family at Tahuti is heirs to this land. Right? So if you want to think you from the land of Enki, Go ahead. We got relatives over there. We not mad at them people. Right? But we still have to know where we from in order to assert our birthright in order to restore balance to the land. Mm -hmm. So you can go with the scholarly narrative that disassociates you from your birthright. Then you forfeit your birthright under the imbecile clause. Mm -hmm. This is how the Catholic Church had us all hostage by declaring us all imbeciles in law. That's called that's why we end up three fifth compromise, Dred Scott Negroes. Right, right. Let let me um ask you this before we get out of here, right? I seen the question I want to ask. Um damn man, the chat is moving out of Oh man, I don't know. Um, and I don't forgot what it was. All right. Oh, real quick before we uh, get to that, somebody asked earlier about your cash app. Let me put it on the screen real quick before I forget. It's a uh, sick ape, right, uh, Rod? Yeah. Yeah. Dollar -A -A sign capital A, -A, 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 -A capital A P E. Yeah. All right, yeah, so I just put um, the Brother Rod's Cash App for those who want to contribute. I'm also going to put mine at the bottom of the screen for anybody who wants to contribute to the platform. And my Brother Rod Hayes. Uh, hey, look, I be had to remind people that's watching that y'all do that Cash App because it's courtesy and practice. And then I, if y'all said something, I got to re receive it out of gratitude. But I don't, I, man, if I didn't ever get a dime, I ain't in this for no money. If I didn't never get a dime, I'm still going to tell these people what they don't want them to know about us reclaiming what's ours just because it's right. And Indeed. it's not enough money that can pay for that to me. Indeed. Therefore, it's worthless. I got to tell it. I can't keep it and conceal it because I could have wrote scholarly thesis on this stuff with the references and all of that. Mm -hmm. And nobody would have never had to see my face. Right. But the whole mission was described in a blueprint in the great Osirian resurrection. Following the blueprint, you able to recover using the Usirian, what's called the Grandfather Clause. That's who Santa Claus is. Mm -hmm. Right? That's the Great Clause. The Grandfather Clause. A time in law when the law of the land was the supreme law of the land. That's the mm -hmm. Iroquois Constitution. That's the oral Constitution that we knew it by heart. By the time we was elders in the community, it was written in the soul. Mm -hmm. You can't take that away from us. This is how we always rise back to the prominence, no matter what happened on this land. Anything can come. 
We welcome every challenge. But just know when it's time for the games to end, the games have to end. This is where we at. If you go back and listen to me and Ty, he flat out tell you I'm the closer. I came to close the books on this BS. Judge motherfucking dread. Right? So the ones who don't understand the receipts, go back and check what I'm telling you. If I'm telling everybody the 100. Mm. There can't no money pay for that. Yeah. Right? So you got all these hustlers mad because I'm spoiling a rotten games. Mm. By telling people the truth, they can see through the BS now. They know that this nigga just hustling for money, talking that trash. Mm. You know, so they want to use my name to build up their credit. They want to use Brother Rich name, but they want to tear us down, but they use it our name to get views and likes. Mm-hmm. Why are they tearing us down? Cl- cloud, we, they cloud chasing, cloud chasing. Yeah, but we ain't thinking about the people though. That's the crazy yeah. part. Like, like they not even on my radar. <laughs> Man, I, look, a fly more likely to sh- to slap flies off his ass. They don't mean nothing to me, mm-hmm. right? So, them little annoyances. Mama told me a long time ago. Mm-hmm. If I ain't had no opposition, I was doing something wrong. Mm. So they come from whatever rock they under. I'm with it. I hear you, my brother. We we know that, man. We appreciate the uh, genuine energy in you, my brother. Yeah, let, me, but, let, me, let me ask you this one last one before we get out of here, Rod. They want to know. Uh, they want to know your thoughts on deja deja vu. What's your thoughts on deja vu, my brother? That be the last they, one. So in it's it can be six different lifetimes. There's pins on the lifetimes that let you know that you're on the right path. Sometimes the experience is called the deja vu when it's like I done this before. You did. You just did it slightly different in the past life. You wanted to try it in multiple different ways, and the deja vu sensation just lets you understand <laughs> you were successful. <laughs> now you didn't experience all of the all of the angles. Mm. That's why it's so familiar because you didn't done it so many times. So that's like a that's like a way for us to know that we're successful at something when we get that deja vu feeling. Well, that's it knows that there's an experience in your book of life that you repeated for whatever purpose you put it in there. Right. Only by you understanding how you think will you know why you would do that. Like, why would I put that in there? <laughs> why would I put this in my book of life to get kicked down the flight of stairs? Hmm. Right? It's in there. Everybody book of life is already written. They wrote it for they came. Now they trying to remember the path without knowing what they wrote. Yo, Rod, real quick, let me share a personal experience with you. What how I begin that feeling sometime. If I'm in the car driving, Rod, and like you know how like you in a car and the, the police sirens come in and they they want you to move over and they and they gotta go a certain way in the traffic. In my mind, I'd be like, oh, they doing that shit wrong. All they got to do is go over there. Then this person will move here. Like, I feel like I know how to direct the police. So when they do, they move it. I'm like, these niggas is idiots. I'm like, they should go here because if they go here, this car is going to move here. Then they got it straight away. They could go straight and then they could just get the fuck. You know what I'm saying? I stay doing that when I'm on the road. I'd be like, yo, I could, I could direct these motherfuckers, man. Cause they don't be, they don't be knowing what they do. That, that's just well, my mind, you, I think you probably can. Won't you direct their ass off the land? <laughs> that's what you direct them to. Look, we oh, ain't need police. We ain't need police before settlers came. Yeah. We didn't need no prisons before settlers came. Why we need that shit now? There's something going on that they're not telling you. Mm. If you get into trouble with the law and they want to bring you in, what do they do? What they issue? Mm-hmm. What they issue, Rich? If they want you, they finna get a police door. Yeah, 
Break the word in half. War ant. Rent. Rent. War war rent. Yeah, yeah. What's a rent? It's an ongoing declaration. What's the first part? War. It's just an ongoing declaration of war. War. Mm. Every one of us are victims to the war march of the colonizers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can't go to war with them because mm -hmm. they got us out good. The only thing we can do is exercise superior blood rights to them mm -hmm. by using our system to oust a system. Everybody want to use their system to fight their system and wonder why they're not being successful. What you marching for, you don't have no stake in the claim. They claiming your shit and you marching to be a part of their claim to your shit. No. We not marching. We gonna wake the people up in waves. By the time they understand who Rod Hayes is, this shit gonna be this shit gonna be cooked. This duck gonna be cooked, well done, and fricasseed. Fricasseed, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that, my brother. Well, listen, man. I want to thank you, my brother Rod, once again, man. You was in you was in the zone tonight, man. You you got something good there. What you smoking on, man? You got something good, man. Cause you you was on <laughs> you was on one tonight, Rod. I hear you, man. Hey, listen, um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We got about um uh, four thousand people in the chat. Thanks for tuning in here, my brother Rod. Once again, he will be on my Patreon. Uh his video will go up Friday. So if you're interested in that one, go and check it, go and check it out on the patreon other than that rod once again my brother thank you so much man keep up doing what you're doing man you're so needed at this day and time my brother anything else you want to leave the people with before we get out of here i ain't, I ain't finna be doing this shit much longer yeah this shit got to be this shit got to come to an end mm -hmm. right it's the reason i'm out here mm -hmm. and for the ones who understand the reason this the season the harvest it's a wrap mm. I'm just waiting on the final collapse of this artificial system when our people realize it's over with and they watch it fall. Mm -hmm. They holding it up, begging it to stay. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Let it go, huh? Let it go. Whew. Hey, with that being Let said, we getting out of here, brother. We getting out of here, family. Appreciate y'all. Brother Rich signing out. Peace to the family. Peace, my brother Rod. Peace, God. Yes, yes.